Now at 11, the winds whipped up our crew caught in the middle of a towering wall of flames. A new flare-up destroys homes tonight in Lake County. Good evening. I'm Elizabeth Cook. And I'm Ken Bassita. Tonight, evacuation orders have been lifted for parts of Kelseyville, along with the community of Finley and the Big Valley Rancheria. But other areas are still in immediate danger. KPI X5's Katie Nielsen is live in Lakeport with a look at what firefighters are facing there tonight. Ken, today was a tough day for firefighters. More structures were lost. Take a look back behind me. We're here off of Hendricks Road, northwest of downtown Lakeport. This, this used to be a barn. You can still see parts of it burning right now. Then all of this twisted metal that's, that's gray and smoldering, this used to be the roof of that barn. Now, firefighters did everything they could to try to save as many homes as they could, but in some cases, Mother Nature took a over. Take a look. So guys, if we get a wind shift that starts coming this way, you still got about another 30 feet you can back up and swing it to that side of the house. A trying day for already weary firefighters as they try to protect homes off Hendricks Road near Scotts Valley. These guys have been doing an awesome job. OB Lowry stood shoulder to shoulder with firefighters as he watched a 30 to 40 foot wall of flames barrel down the hillside straight toward him. It's my house. What else am I going to do? So I try to do everything I can to save it. But with hoses ready, firefighters were able to save it. As crews nearby put out hot spots started when embers flew across Hendricks Road. We had really erratic fire behavior. We had spot fires. We had fire pushing over and over ridges, uh, down into canyons. Firefighters say when the afternoon winds picked up, they did everything they could to fight the intense flames. But for the first time since Sunday, some homes were lost. We, you, we can see from the road that there were, uh, whether it was barns, whether it was homes, that there were structures involved uh, in fire. Now, unofficially, firefighters are telling me that so far they have counted 11 outbuildings that have been destroyed and two homes when the river fire here kicked up this afternoon. But they're going to have damage assessment teams going in at daybreak tomorrow. They said once the sun is up, they'll have a better idea exactly what happened here this afternoon. Live near Lakeport, Katie Nielsen, KPIX 5. This Defense Department video shows what uh, air crews are facing as a fight to contain the flames. Tonight, the two blazes cover a total of 125 square miles. That's an area the size of San Francisco and Oakland combined. Those fires just 12% contained tonight. 